All right, all right, all right. Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video we're going to be talking about a long, ongoing war between the Bungie devs and the speedrunning community. And it all began with the World Lion nerf. This has been an ongoing issue, and I laugh about it because I have literally seen countless fights and battles on Twitter on this issue, and Bungie Community Mansion DMG actually spoke about this after this post received a ton of traction today. Uh, someone tweets out saying, I truly do not understand why people hate PvE speedrunners. They are competing against themselves. How does this impact anyone? I don't get it. Let the Zoomers zoom in response. This is a retweet saying how Destiny 2 would always be if Bungie actually valued speedrunners. And it's basically to show someone zipping across the map in the Dreaming City really, really fast. Nothing too crazy here. And that's basically the crux of this conversation. That's where it all begins. And DMG community manager actually responds to this saying, it stems from how some in the speedrunning community present themselves, openly attacking other players or the studio itself. When we patch out encounter skips, higher than intended movement speeds, etc. It's sad when folks earn a poor reputation for an entire sub community. It's good to keep in mind that toxic players do not represent entire clans or sub communities, but when those players are higher in visibility slash follow count, it creates friction. It also doesn't help when folks go out of the way to rally other players to harass community managers publicly. So definitely hitting the, the nail on the head with that one, saying that people are being extremely toxic. And unfortunately, you know, it is that way sometimes with the speedrunning community, and they're not helping themselves at all in regards to the situation. I'm going to continue to read this. We got middle grounds aren't always possible in a live service environment. If a speedrunning technique breaks the game faster than design, loot acquisition, complete trivialization of aspirational content, etc., then it's more than likely it will be patched out. And then on to the next one. He says, in the case of world lion skating, folks asking for the sword to specifically be designed to cater to speedrunning ends up creating a massive wake on the team. More time would be spent designing and testing something that literally breaks the game than on new and exciting content to earn. So definitely a really interesting opinion from DMG right here and some great insight into how Bungie is dealing with these you know, broken mechanics that essentially allow a lot of speedrunners to create a skill ceiling that they like to use in order to, you know, beat raids really fast, beat strikes really fast, uh, beat lost sectors, whatever it may be, really, really fast back in the day with World Lion. And still continuing today, it's even touching a little bit on the issue of double slug shotguns potentially getting nerfed. Now, DMG responds to that. The last thing he says is, that said, seeing Deepstone Crypt done quick yesterday was effing awesome. More than happy to support players like them and others in the community that contribute positivity to the conversation and the gaming scene as a whole. So some very interesting things. And what I wanted to do is actually transition this into an interview that I'm going to do with a speedrunner in Destiny 2. So go ahead and watch that now. So I'm here with a speedrunner. His name is Uni. You can find him on twitch.tv slash unicornpeng. His link is down below. And he is going to do a brief interview with me in regards to the situation. Um, basically, DMG posted a variety of different tweets responding to a bunch of different issues. And we're going to cover just a few of these topics very briefly for this interview. So the first one I want to cover is DMG and speedrunning toxicity. What do you think, how could you summarize the toxicity that's in the speedrunning community currently and the climate with that? A lot of it is people fighting on Twitter, you know, people having opinions about, one opinion about the game, another opinion about the game, they contradict each other, and then someone just passionate opinions and kind of just those opinions clashing. Yeah. I think a lot of people may be taking it too far on Twitter. I particularly in the speedrunning community, I mean, I, I don't I don't know if this is a fair assessment. Would you say the speedrunning community is a bit on the younger side generally? Definitely. Definitely. So they're a little more younger and so they're a little more brash. They're not as, you know, <laughs> well behaved, I would say, on Twitter. And obviously they're being anonymous, perhaps a good amount of anime profile pictures. <laughs> so they tend to just say whatever the heck they want to say and get as nasty about it as they want in, in an effort to get their point across. And I do think that that's uh, counterintuitive to what their goals are, because I know that there's actually a lot of very level-headed uh, speedrunners out there that want these goals to be achieved. Uh, they want things like, you know, we're going to talk, talk about this topic now, which is World Line, which was a, just, I think it was really kind of the start of this just mountain of toxicity and like this never-ending war seeming between the speedrunners and the bungee devs, which was World Line was nerfed. I'm going to briefly discuss this and, and ask your opinions in a second. World Line was nerfed. It was utilized for extremely fast movement. Uh, it 
broke the game in terms of just fast movement, but it didn't really break any encounters. Like you couldn't just like skip the whole strike or something. You couldn't, and so a lot of misconceptions are around World Line and how it worked and how it operated. It basically just offered extremely fast lateral movement. But uh, in your opinion, how would you describe the crux of the issue in regards to World Line? I think the 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 main issue was that it was in the game for so long. Yeah. We had time to spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours mastering the sword skating, world line skating, and every little place in the game where we could do that. And then kind of out of nowhere, it was taken away. I feel that. Um, and, and, and on the similar note of that, one thing I would say is that largely it didn't seem to, have, like for me, for example, I do a lot of raids as well. I never hit any world line skates. So when Bungie's like, we're getting rid of it. It's time. I'm like, what? Like, I feel like that is just against the speedrunning community. I get a little bit maybe where they're yeah. coming from, where it's not by design. But I feel like the there's so those misconceptions where it's like people are just popping into a strike and hitting a world line skate. And now they're at the boss now and it's bypassing everything, which I don't really think was happening too much. And I think that's the biggest disconnect where speedrunners are appropriately frustrated, where they're like, hey... This world line thing wasn't really breaking anything. Just like the point one percent of us that speed run this game and like to have this end game, you know, chasing really fast completions of these activities, really enjoyed this. Uh, we can you can still hit crazy times. You can still Icarus dash and do all this like fast movement. Uh, so it didn't necessarily take that out of the game, but it just it was seemingly pointless. And transitioning into our last thing that I want to talk about, which is that. What would you say are the sort of the goals that you see as this from the speedrunning community in regards to your approach to interacting with Bungie and and what you want from Destiny as a speedrunner? Um, well, from a pure speedrun perspective, um, I would love Worldline Sword Scan to be back. That's not a realistic. Do you want Worldline goal. back? <laughs> That's not a realistic goal. I know that. Um, slowly coming to terms with that, but um. I think I want people that speedrun to learn that, and I myself took a long time to realize this, that everyone is human. The people trained in the game don't want to piss us off. Um, we're just very dedicated. We spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours in every nook and cranny of the game, trying to perfect it, trying to push the game to its limit because we see this potential and we want to show the community that look like we spent x amount of time doing this and this is this is that this is the um what what came out of that i and, feel that um i i want more people to be able to look at a speed run and be like whoa how do i do that yeah, and that's cool rather than, uh, oh, those darn cheaters, you know? Yeah, I, I do definitely see. I know exactly where you're coming from, and I hope that this video hits that note as well because I personally see speedrunners as people that have literally mastered the, the simplistic approach to encounters so well that they're like, now I'm going to take it to the next level and then, and then the next mm -hmm. level and then the next level, and then now they're soloing this encounter and now they're, you know, zipping past this encounter, going out of bounds to get around to efficiently get the counter from launch to finish as fast as possible and i see that as a very skillful thing i know some people don't they're just like oh no you're just bypassing every mechanic you're just you know yeeting out of the map and stuff like that but uh, i definitely like that and I, I hope that bungie tries to respect the skill ceiling that is created by some of these techniques i know that another issue that is going to be has already been brought onto the chopping block is these double slugs and that right. could very well be addressed very soon that's definitely scary uh, for you know the speedrunning community who wants to have the skill uh, ceiling, the skillful techniques and stuff like that. But the one thing I want to say as we uh, wind down this interview is that I think that the silver lining in some of this stuff is that speedrunning does exist regardless of any of these techniques. You know, if they were never in the game, uh, obviously it would be much better, much more ideal. If no out of bound spots existed, that would be much more ideal. Uh, things would be way more uniform and straightforward. But there still is definitely skill to speed running even if there is no out of bounds even if there's no boob even if there's no world line in my opinion and when i watch people speed run uh, i'm still very impressed when they can beat things as efficiently as fast as possible due to their builds their exotics their weapons their level whatever it may be so i think that's uh, the sort of the silver lining from the stuff hopefully things don't get 
nerfed mm -hmm. into oblivion by Bungie. And uh, I do appreciate you giving me your time for this interview. And uh, yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. Yep, this is his, name, his Twitch channel will be down below, like I mentioned before. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. All right. Peace. So some really good insights from that interview there. Let me know your thoughts about this entire conversation down in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe with notifications on. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.